Hey everyone, it's Andrew from Mountain View Cycles in Hood River, Oregon. Today we're talking about three Trek mountain bikes and discussing which one could be right for you, as well as some basic modifications you could make to each one to tailor it to your specific riding style. So we're gonna talk about the Fuel EX, the Remedy, and the Slash. So first up, the Fuel EX. This is the most versatile mountain bike that Trek makes. The Fuel EX platform is based on 29 inch wheels. It has 140 millimeters of front suspension travel and 130 in the rear. It's got a 66 degree head tube angle and a 75 degree seat tube angle. Those numbers can be adjusted with Trek's Minolink flip chip. So you can steepen both of those angles half a degree and raise the bottom bracket a little bit, which is gonna make the bike handle a little more like a cross country bike. If you keep it in the low setting, which is how it comes from the factory, it's gonna ride more uh, like an aggressive trail bike. You can also add 150 millimeters of travel up front to slacken the head tube angle another half degree. All models come with four piston hydraulic brakes, a 2.6 inch tire up front, a 2.4 in the rear. The higher end models like the 9.8 and the 9.9 come with a built-in thermal compensator in the rear shock. If you're a super aggressive rider looking for a shorter travel trail bike option, a Fuel EX is a good choice because you can throw a piggyback shock in the rear, 150 millimeters of travel up front. These bikes come stock with Bontrager's XR4 tires, We've seen some riders switch out to more aggressive casings like the Super Enduro casing um, or a Maxxis, uh, you know, EXO Plus or Double Down casing. The fuels also come with the built-in lunchbox right here, which is nice. Um, so you can store your tools and stuff like that in your down tube. So the Fuel EX is a great option for someone who wants an efficient trail bike for all day backcountry adventures, or even someone who's looking to smash pre or post-work laps at your local flow trails. The Remedy is based on a 27.5 wheel platform. It has 160 millimeters of travel up front, 150 in the rear, a slightly shorter wheelbase than the Fuel, a 65.6 degree head tube angle, and a 74.2 degree seat tube angle, which makes it purpose built for playful, fun descending. This is a 9.8 model. It comes stock with a Fox 38 fork. A DPX2 rear shock with a full piggyback reservoir to manage heat, uh, super enduro tires, four piston hydraulic brakes. So out of the box, this thing's just ready to go to the bike park. So one common modification here on the Remedy is switching to a coil shock, which is gonna be a little more linear and also have a little bit better small bump sensitivity. So the Remedy's perfect for riders who prefer to shuttle or who just don't really care how fast they climb because they're just looking to have fun on the descents. All right, the last bike we're gonna talk about today is the Slash. The Slash is the prototypical enduro race bike. It's long, it's low, and it's slack. It's got a 64.1 degree head tube angle, a 75 degree seat tube angle, 29 inch wheels, and a beastly 170 and 160 millimeters of travel front and rear. Basically, this bike's designed to get to the top of the mountain and then just smash whatever's in front of it going down. Obviously, on the Slash, you get the four-piston hydraulic brakes, you get a 1x12 drivetrain, you get the uh, Trek lunchbox in the down tube. This is a 9.9 .9 model, so it's a carbon frame, comes with a Zeb Ultimate up front and a Super Deluxe Ultimate rear shock. It's got an X01 drivetrain and code RSC hydraulic disc brakes. Pretty common modifications here are switching over to full DH casing tires, depending on the conditions you're riding, uh, and then swapping to a coil shock. This bike also features Trek's Minolink flip chip, uh, so you can steepen the head tube and seat tube angles a half degree and raise the bottom bracket a little bit, which will make the bike handle a little more like a trail bike and a little less like a monster truck. All right, guys, so there you have it. Three bikes from Trek, the Fuel EX, the Remedy, and the Slash. Again, the Fuel EX is gonna be the most versatile, uh, generalist trail bike option. It's gonna climb really well. It's gonna descend really well. It's gonna be playful. You know, it's gonna be great for everything from all day adventure rides in the back country to pre and post work laps down your local flow trails. The Remedy is gonna be the most playful option that Trek makes. Smaller wheels, shorter wheelbase, 
slack head tube. If you love to shroud berms or hit jumps or manual the rollers, the Remedy is a great option. And lastly, if enduro racing is your goal or you love to shuttle super gnarly technical downhill trails, the Slash is the bike for you. We usually have each of these bikes in stock in different configurations and for different price points. We're always happy to talk modifications for your specific riding style. You can browse our inventory online at www.mtviewcycles.com. You can follow us on Instagram at mtviewcycles. And lastly, if you appreciated this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks. Thank you.